Okay, I'm doing Newton extra 8 through 9. Okay, so in this problem, there's going to be a weight that is held by two cables, and we need to find what the tension in this left-hand cable is, which will be T. To make this look a lot more simpler, I drew them in components of X and Ys. So everything in Y1 is red and everything in X1 is green. First, I'm going to start off with the X's. So my equation is going to be F net equals X1 plus X2. But anytime things are at equilibrium or no acceleration, F net X is going to equal zero. So now our new equation will be X2 equals x1. Okay, so we know our angles here is theta, and our angle here is 39 degrees. So since we know this, we can use SOHOTOA to find out what x1 equals. Since the angle is hypotenuse to the to the side and adjacent to the side, we're going to use cosine to find what x1 equals. So we set it up as cosine 39 degrees equals x1 over 760 newton. To get x1, we just have to multiply 760 newton. This will equal 590.63 newtons. And since x1 also equals x2, we now know x2 equals the same amount. Okay, for f net of y, y1 minus y2 it equals y1 minus y2 minus y3, and that's because it all goes down. So if we just want to find y2, we're going to add it to the other side. So we'll get y2, oh, and f net for y is also 0. So we'll get y2 equals y1 minus y3. Now y1 will be sine instead because it is opposite of the angle and hypotenuse to it. So now our y1 is going to be 760 sine 39 and our y3 which is here, this in newtons is going to be minus 649 and to get y2. Y2 will now equal one, well, negative 170.71 newtons because it's going down. Okay, so now I've redrawn the components into X2 and Y2 to find what T is. And all we're going to do to solve number 8 is use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so now we know T squared equals... 377,985, so we're just going to take the square root of that, and now we're going to find t just by itself equals 614.805 newtons, and that's our answer for number 8. For number 9, we're just going to now find the angle of this, so we just take these two sides and we do the inverse of tangent for them both. So we're going to have inverse tangent 590.63 over 170.71. And our answer then in degrees will be 73.87 degrees. And that's how you solve Newton extra number 8 and 9.